Hey guys, it's Saturday night. We decided to come out and get some Krispy Kreme donuts. We don't have any Krispy Kreme near us, so we came into New Jersey. It's about a half hour away, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a try. You know, the Manhattan ones, they're open till 12 a.m., but the issue is there's nowhere to park over there, and it just becomes a mess just to get a few donuts, and it uh, feels like it's 12 degrees out. It's 20 right now, so yeah. This is a lot easier. We got a parking lot, you know. And uh, yeah, I haven't had Krispy Kreme in a really long time, so we're looking forward I'll to be this. waiting outside because it's pretty busy in there. But here we are. Well, guys, um, they weren't making any more fresh donuts in the Jersey Krispy Kreme, so now we're in Manhattan and Times Square, and we just got a parking spot literally like 20 feet away, which is amazing. That never happens. Uh, we tried to come here the other day after one of my appointments, but it was just complete chaos at rush hour. So, um, yeah, let's go in. I saw them, yeah. Wow. That's amazing. That's what I want. Can we get a, we'll get like a dozen of them here? Wow, guys, look at those donuts. So we need the Oh my gosh, this is a diabetic's dream. This is a diabetic's nightmare right here. But... Oh, so good. Look at that glaze machine. That is amazing. First time having Krispy Kreme donuts fresh. We've had Krispy Kreme before, but not fresh ones. Oh my gosh, yeah. It smells like, I don't even, it's delicious. Wow, guys. Right. They're you like can't fluffy. Have glazed donuts after you had this one. Yeah, you can't. Delicious. We didn't even know they're open 24 hours over here. <laughs> they keep the window open, but. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, let's finish. Oh, don't forget about Prince Street Pizza. This is our last stop. We weren't planning on coming, cups but. Cups of joy right here. Yep. Drive. And we figured why not take a drive through Little Italy while we were at it. Well, hello vlog. I don't remember the last time I saw you guys. I think that it was probably Saturday night when we got some delicious Krispy Kreme donuts um, and pizza and all that. But yeah, since then, um, starting, well, late that night, I had a bad headache from the IVIG into Sunday, into Monday, and now today is Tuesday. And so, yeah, um, for whatever reason, IVIG affects me many days later and continues to. But um, yesterday around 2 p.m. on Monday, I started running a low-grade fever of 99.5. And then it hit 100, exactly 100, nothing over, and then went back down to normal temperature. And so, yeah, it was normal all morning, overnight, like, and... Um, and then this afternoon I was like 99.4, 99.5, and now um, 99.1 around there. But my head is still hurting, um, so I did send the doctor a message, uh, my transplant doctor, and we'll see um, what he says. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I don't feel sick or anything, I just have a headache. And then that low-grade fever, but other than that, no body aches or anything, no coughing, nothing. I feel well. So I definitely think it's related to IVIG. This happened to me back last April into May. Um, I wound up running low-grade fever and whatnot due to my white blood count from everything. And so yeah, hopefully that's not what's happening again. Yeah, and as far as the after effects go of the shingles, the nerve itching and pain, um, yeah, we increased the gabapentin and last few days, start increasing on Friday and the last few days I'm starting to feel better still itching and burning here and there but feeling a lot better than I did at the end of last week so that is really good so we are like 100% sure it's nerve pain then if that's a if the higher gabapentin is helping okay guys here's tonight's dinner pasta cavatelli pasta with eggplant sun-dried tomatoes artichoke hearts kalamata olives and garlic and oil, of course. All right, guys, so each night when I come inside and I take my pills, this little cutie pie follows me in here because he knows it's time for his dentist stick. And then he goes in his bed or on his couch, right? Goes to sleep. All right, Jackson, you know what to do. 
Okay, you know what to do. Sit down, give me poor. Good boy. Good boy. All right, Gad, run. And he's gone just like that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I hope you have a great night.